This procedure is one of the most critical in the tutorial. It's also easy to make a mistake, so take your time. Go ahead and save now. In case something goes wrong, you can back out and start over. Make sure you are at frame zero while doing your setup work. Any bone we intend to animate directly needs to have a home rotation position of zero. Select Record Pivot Rotation. You'll see the H, P, and B jump to zero. While in rotation mode, select the bones one at a time. Make sure the H, P, and B are all set to zero. We call this zeroing out. If we go through all this so, we can find home positions when we animate, track movement more easily. The three degrees of freedom are more easily selected and moved along more predictable animation results, and to prevent gimbal lock. Trust me, it makes animating easier. So far, so good. Open the Scene Editor. Right-click in the Scene Editor panel. Select Expand Child Items Recursive. Now select all the bones. Select Record Bone Rest Rotation. With all the bones selected, create a keyframe to lock the bones in place. And that's all there is to it. Ta-da!